Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my days, it's been a long time. Yeah, um, your home girl has been busy with a lot of stuff, but I saw this scholarship and I was like, you know what? This looks like a good scholarship that really rarely comes, although it's rolled over every year. But I like to talk a bit about it so that we will be abreast. If you fall within the criterion, do apply. So today's scholarship is about the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarship for sc Foreign Scholars and artists and hardly do you really really see scholarship that comes in for artists so i think that this is a great opportunity if you've got a friend or anybody you know that would want to pursue um an education a master's in art please um, make them apply for it so um, this scholarship was open on the first of august for international students and the deadline uh, for submission of everything is on the 1st of December. So time is ticking. Click, click, click. Please do enroll in it if you are eligible. Now, it's running in 180 countries. You're going to see the countries soon. And it's aimed at um, young researchers from abroad who have completed a master's or a PhD, which is actually called a postdoc, and foreign artists holding a bachelor's degree. So please do bear in mind that um, batch is the bachelor's degree um, holders who are foreign artists are the only one who can apply for the master's. Any other person is either a PhD or a postdoc. Now, the scholarship is going to cover your full tuition fees, monthly stipend, room, health insurance, and other student, uh, student expenses story. Now, it's saying that it's available for postgraduate degree uh, researchers in any discipline uh, who are planning to come to Switzerland to pursue a research or doctoral or postdoctoral, and is awarded to study in all Swiss um, universities. And so you can look at that. But only candidate nominated by an academic mentor as one of these higher education institutions should be award awarded. And that's the tricky part because then. What this statement means is that you need to have a supervisor or somebody who thinks you're worthy of um, the scholarship to be given, and the person will need to nominate you. So that's where it gets tricky, and that's where you need to start now. And obviously, um, they know that this scholarship is opened, so a lot of people will be contacting them. So you need to really, really have your um, write up really well. And now, um, the art scholarships are open to our students who want to pursue a master's degree, like I said, in Switzerland, um, at any Swiss university, but they are only limited for a certain number of countries. And so probably the country I'm going to use, which is Ghana, might not find that category in it. I don't know yet, but maybe your country does find it. I'll show you how to get to the country's option, and you can apply for it. Now, for the legibility, um, you must have command in the necessary language for the research study. Uh, applicants must provide a letter from the academic host pro professor, including his or her shop CV, so you need to request the CV from the professor and uh, at any chosen university, and the supervisor should state emphatically that he's ready to supervise and support your research. Uh, without such support, the application will be rejected. So I think first things first, when you get to this part of the uh, listening, do start finding in, uh, in the universities that is legible under your country and um, find supervisors. It's very important. And uh, It's also saying that applicants who have been in Switzerland for more than a year or at the beginning of September are not eligible. Uh, if you have already benefited from Swiss government scholarship, you are not eligible. Uh, you must have a research proposal which includes a time frame. This is the centerpiece of the application. You must be de devoted all required attention to it, and you are expected to move um, to Switzerland during the grant of period. So you do not need to say that you want to do an online or you want to do it from Ghana. Now, to the document they require, they are requiring you to have a signed medical certificate. And in Ghana, I know you can obtain that from the... Um, any hospital around, you just go to the um, administration office and say that you need the um, certificate for school application. And because they've had to do that for a couple of people, they would be able to help with that. I don't know for other countries, but please um, do check. Um, one thing I'll do is probably check 
alumni who have been on this particular scholarship aid they happy to come from your home country ask them um, how they got their health certificate form and get the right form so you're not um, taken out now you will need an application form with your photos a copy of a letter from the academic host like they said earlier on with their CV and stating fiscally that they want to support your research a letter of motivation if you click here there's a draft we can click on that a full CV with a list of academic publications and award um, a complete research proposal if you click on that uh, maximum five pages they've given um, how to go about that a short CV of your academic mentor they said it like three times while I was reading that a study plan or a statement of purpose um, I can drop the link in the comment section on how to get around that then obviously photocopies of your certificate your grade sheet from your university um, if not in English French Italian or Germany with attested certified translation in English um, do not submit the original certificate oh well that's great uh, interesting to know uh, you need two letters of recommendation from two different professors in the applicant field um, use exclusively uh, the FCS reference form originally in sealed envelope only for the first set no copies of the second set and I think that if you click on that it will go in further details what you should do around that then two copies of your applicant's passport uh, do one nationals add copies of both and applicants already in Switzerland the application add a copy of your residence permit for Switzerland um, so this is the list of the countries uh, that are eligible for the scholarship so let's just have a click on that it will take you to um, the countries so we have all the list of countries here I'm going to just quickly scroll down if you find your country here um, you can move on to the next stage of the application so like you always know if you follow me you know I'm a Ghanaian so click I'm going to use Ghana as an example yeah so it comes with all the package for uh, the PhD for postdoc um, I don't know what the research is but we can just quickly click on that but when you open that for the uh, PhD um, it says that it's open from 1st August and it's the deadline is the 30th of November 2021 now it's for uh, PhD scholarships um, the Swiss government via the Federal Commission for the scholarships will be given to foreign students to enable um, selected applicants to undertake a PhD at one of the 10 Swiss um, cathedral universities the two Swiss Federal Institutes of Technology or Graduate Institutes now this is the um, this is the university that you can apply for um, from sorry about that noise um, this is the university that you can apply for from the Swiss University and so um, quickly you can go through there if you find your course in the university you can reach out to a supervisor um, telling them of your intention to be able to apply for the Swiss um, scholarship state your expertise um, what projects have you worked in and why has that project um, going to impart um, what the supervisor is doing in their lab um, there's a full details on how to get around contacting a supervisor I'll put the link in the chat box and we've had a conversation around that uh, the, the scholarship is only valid for full-time PhD in Switzerland and it's not valid for mixed PhD program like part-time in Switzerland and part-time in other countries um, um, this language I don't know what that is but I say PhD student with an ongoing or planned doctoral project that is carried out within the framework of a formalized agreement between two universities um, it can only be valid it can also be valid for that and under joint supervision of two supervisors are eligible for a 12-month research fellowship so probably if you're doing a PhD in another country you can actually apply also for it um, if you want to do like just a 12 month research fellowship with them um, so target group is that highly qualified postgraduates can apply for more academic fields duration um, 12 months prolongably to 36 months based on the achieved academic results so you'll be put on probation for a year and you'll be uh, you'll be you'll be allowed to continue for the next three years if your results are great 
and that don't get don't panic it's standard um everywhere so um the scholarship gives you a monthly payment of that amount um which you can search probably in dollars or in your home country uh it's equivalent uh there are no family allowance no financial uh, support for field work uh for non eu or non the fcs pays only mandatory Swiss health insurance um scholarship from non eu and non efc countries receive a flight allowance a lump sum for a ticket back to their home country provided on the end of the scholarship you'll be given a uh, 300 um, housing allowance uh, one year health fare public transport card support services various trips dinner sightseeing tours um, for Swiss government school. oh my god this is exciting now master's degree or equivalent university degree should be, have been achieved by uh, before 31st July 2022 so even if you're finishing in um, September and the deadline is approaching on November uh, you so you can still apply for it probably there'll be a, a spot that you can put achieving uh, awaiting results and um, but you should have finished by 31st July of the following year now your date of birth should be um, after 31st December 1986 um, applicants must provide a letter from the academic host at the Chosen Street University why he or she is willing to supervise and support the PhD thesis. Without such a uh, specific support letter, the application will be rejected. If an assistant prof uh, professor supports a candidate, a full professor who is entitled to supervise the PhD during the entire scholarship has to co sign it. I think that's loud and clear. You must attach a research proposal within a time frame. I'll put a link in that where you can apply for that. And also, um, applicants will have command of the necessary language skills required for the PhD studies. Um, scholarship holders are expected to move to Switzerland. Um, the scholarship amount covers the living cost of only one person, emphatically stated. Um, if you have received Swiss government scholarship, it's just the same old thing they are saying again. Now, the FCS application for a PhD scholarship and application for admission by a Swiss university for a PhD are two separate procedures. Um, the administrator to the PhD study at your chosen Swiss university in due time is a conditional sign quite known for a potential attribution of the FCS scholarship, but no guarantee through a positive decision by the Federal Commission for Scholarship for Foreign Students. It's the applicant's responsibility to manage both procedures in parallel. So you would have to apply for admission in the school. You would also have to have a supervisor before that and apply for the um, scholarship separately. Um, so I'm thinking that definitely an admission from the school, an admission letter from the school, will also be a good uh, platform to be able to boost um, your scholarship application, but not specifically it. That's what they are trying to mean. A letter of support, for, they keep on saying that for a faculty member of the host university um, is very important. And there are basically two different uh, doctorate degrees. The first one is undertaking doctoral study as a Swiss university under the supervision of an academic mentor or supervisor. In this case, the admission to the PhD at the university might take place after the grant application period at the Swiss embassy. For your scholarship application, you must hand in a support letter of your academic supervisor. However, an admission letter is not required. So there's that particular way where you don't need necessarily need an admission letter. Whenever when you are, you get that scholarship, you can then proceed um, to gain admission in the university. And the second one is is being admitted to a doctoral school, which provide framework for following doctoral studies. You must ensure that um, in quite all possible questions, for example, admission directly with the corresponding doctoral school, in addition to other application documents, which include a support letter from the supervisor. The admission letter from the doctoral school is required with the application. So you see that there are two different things. One, when you get the scholarship by the Swiss Embassy and nominated by the Swiss Embassy, and you can now um, further go on to apply to the school. One, the other is having gotten the doctoral program. And so in that case, your admission letter will be required to apply for the scholarship. So um, uh, the rest of them is talking about the aspects of selection 
um, your academic profile, your research capacity and motivation is very key. Uh, your research projects, uh, originality and methodological soundness is also very important. And academic context, quality and context of the supervision and potential uh, for future academic um, cooperation. So um, obviously they've stated what the, um, they started by um, the application package can be obtained by email from the Embassy of Switzerland in Accra. So one of the things I would also ask you is to go to the Embassy of Switzerland, express your interest in um, the Swiss scholarship and see um, any additional um, things you might they might want to add to it based on the fact that they've had to deal with such students all the time and the commonly frequently asked questions. Now you have to submit two sets one original, one copy of application document in exact order given below. The first set contains the original signed document plus confidential letters of recommendation and, if applicable, accessible translations in English. The other set is a copy of the first set except for confidential letter of recommendation. Very loud and clear. Um, you also need to add a signed FCS application form. I'll show you how the form looks like a full CV with your academic publication, a motivation letter, a complete research proposal um, using exclusive the SC, FCS research proposal form. I showed you earlier on, it was a uh, link, you can just click on that. Um, if you undertake doctoral studies at the Swiss University under the supervision of an academic mentor, then you need a copy of the letter from the host professor at a chosen Swiss University confirming why he's willing to support you. Um, also, applicants for the doctoral school would need a copy also from the supervisor and also the admission letter from the school, two confidential letters of recommendation, photocopies of certificates, signed medical forms, two copies of the passport, and whatever. You. Now, these are the contact numbers where you can channel your questions, uh, but I'm very paranoid, so I always want to walk there and find out what they are doing or ask all my questions when I go there. And before that, you should have started with the application. Um, so for the research um, uh, fellowship, for those who are already in other universities and will want to do another time, like 12 months in another um, un uh, university or a Swiss university, um, this is the form that you would need and you would use. Um, it was basically uh, the zip folder I downloaded and the research fellowship um, that opened here. Yeah, it's just, uh, pardon me, it's just because I've, have, I've got it open, uh, but literally it's this one. So the hint is um, the FCS application form, you would need to request uh, for it by... Um, uh, by an email um, from your um, the email address in your home country um, asking for a, the Swiss FCS application form and emphatically state that you want um, your requesting for that. Don't just say, can you please send me, send a very well detailed uh, um, email requesting for the application form from the Embassy of Swiss in your particular home country. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, this is what's just taking you through uh, what the scholarship entails. Um, this is the universities that uh, you can apply to, so you can just have a click on that. It will take you to the university. Um, if you want to do a, a research uh, in what particular course, you can surf on the internet, try and find um, the staff in their um, in the university and what projects they are working on and and write them um, a letter of motivation uh, formally to introduce yourself, your expertise like I said earlier on and how you can be part of their research group and why he should find the reason to supervise you among the thousand number of applications he's getting uh, for this scholarship. Well, like I said, I hope this scholarship um, video was helpful. If it was, uh, please drop a like and also um, comment with any suggestions and we'll be sure to get back to you on that. Until uh, so same time, another scholarship. Bye-bye.